Strong Roses here and today I'm going to be doing pickups of most of the games I got this year. I may have forgotten a few of them. Um, I'm not counting games I brought down from the loft because it would just take too long. Uh, that used to be my dad's games and probably still are. So I'm just games that I have, uh, me or my family have bought this um, year. Most of them bought by me. Let's start with the first one. Bought Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, just a, sorry. Um, I actually haven't played this game yet. Um, it actually seems pretty good. I'm actually going to turn the light up. It's a bit lighter. How about that? Oh, oh. I'll turn the main light on. There we go. That's a lot better now. Okay. So Advanced Warfare. Um, yeah, this looks pretty cool. It has Kevin Spacey in it. Got it for 15 quid from Gas Converters. Um, looks pretty cool. Still haven't had time to go around and play it yet, but it looks pretty good. Um, and this is one of the first Call of Duty games um, I kind of bought. Or, um, so that's Call of Duty Advanced Warfare out for the way. Um... Next, we have Call of Duty Ghost, which is the first Call of Duty I've played. I actually have played this. I've played the Xbox 360 and Xbox One edition. Um, it's not as bad as people say it is. I think it's got a really good um, campaign, um, some really solid maps, and I think overall it works very well as a modern-day kind of Call of Duty game. It works. Next game, Far Cry 4. Haven't played this either. This is what my dad has been playing for months, so I really haven't had the chance. Um, so, got the limited edition. Um, it has um, some more single player missions and um, some more guns. Uh, my dad says this is a really good game. In fact, he finished the game at like 55%, and he got that much left to go. That, that's crazy. Um, it, but it's a very good game, and it. Um, takes a really long time to complete it though. F1 2015, my brother got this for his birthday. He's barely played it because he's always playing FIFA um, on his Xbox 360. It looks like it's a good game, but uh, it's taken out lots of core features of F1s like F1 2012 and F1 2013. Um, still need to do a review of F1 2012. Um, I think that was more of like a, just a trailer for that dude with the sunglasses um, to get me get back. But I don't know. Um, so this game looks pretty good, but yeah, it's just taking out lots of things. You can't have your own person now, and I don't think you can do any career training. And this was like fifty-five quid in game. Rip off. Force Motorsport Six. Motorsport Six. Again, great game. I've actually played this one. It, it it's really kind of good in the sense that um that it it works as a 10 year anniversary edition it kind of adds new cars and adds new things like i'm not i haven't played forza multiple five so i'm not sure if these were added in yet then but you got like these wheels to use like spin wheels and then you get certain cars in a day that's actually pretty awesome also, I got this with the Xbox One, and I also got Call of Duty Ghosts with the Xbox One as well. Now, for the next game I'm going to show you, I've got to show you multiple little things of it. Got Halo Master Chief Collection. I got this for Christmas two days ago. Uh, the Master Chief Collection, the limited edition, it comes with... Um, the game, of course. It comes with a steelbook game case here. Yep, and I've put all the stuff in it as well. I've, this is just empty now. Um, comes with that. It also comes with uh, some DLC and a map book, which I will quickly show you now. So you get like loads of maps for each of the games. It's pretty cool. Now I haven't played any of these, uh, and I haven't played this yet. <laughs> I haven't played any of it. Um, but I'm planning on doing so very soon. Um, and it looks really awesome. Uh, I know it had a bit of a troubled start. 
Um, but I think overall it's just good. <sighs> Next game, Rare Replay. Uh, Rare Replay is a really good game. It um. It takes games from Ultimate Play the Game, Rareware, and also nowadays Rare, because they had three different names then. Um, and it comes with some of my favourite Rare games, like uh, Bet Battletoads Arcade, uh, Battletoads, obviously, um, and you got stuff like Banjo Kazooie, uh, sadly not any Diddy Kong Racing, but obviously Riots and stuff. And um, I can't remember the name of it, what was it called? Oh, there's something else I liked in there, uh, but yeah, I forgot what it was called. Um, and this was a perfect dark, yeah. Um, I really like the box cover, and I'm glad you get 30 games. It was only like I only got it for like 20 quid in game. It looks really good, and I actually really enjoyed this game. Really enjoyed this game a lot. Final Xbox One game I got was Sunset Overdrive. This game kicks ass, but I haven't played it for like two months now. I think I got about halfway through it, but I stopped playing it because I just got really annoyed with it in the end. Um, especially with, because you always had to get all the security cameras. Um, I'm at the bit where you have to get security cameras to um, to fill up the tanks to get uh, XP or whatever it's called, I can't remember. Um, and that I just can't find any anywhere. And it's really annoying because this is such a great game, but you can't continue unless you do the cans. Uh, kind of thing. You can play online, but maybe if I go back to it another time. But it's just it's it's really annoying. Um, but it's a great game overall. I love the mechanics and the humor. It's it's really good. You should probably pick it up. That's the Xbox games out of the way. Let's get on to the PlayStation Two. So this is one I've already explained in my first pickups episode. Crash Nitro Kart. Actually, after playing it, it's actually a really good game. Although it's some, it can get very annoying, especially on like there's some winter levels, and they're actually really annoying, and I don't really like them that much. Um, okay, here's the same games here. I've got Devil May Cry. I've got the normal edition um, with the normal original casing. And I've got the platinum edition. The original edition, it's a bit of a strange story, uh, I got from CEX, and, um, I got, I got it from CEX, which was pretty cool, um, but, the problem with it is, the game didn't work, we didn't find a receipt, and we couldn't really bring it out, so I just kept it. Sorry, I just got to go and have a little bit of lunch, um, so anyway... So then we went back and we got the Platinum, um, obviously classics kind of edition, and this one actually worked, but I've swapped the games over because, seriously, that case looks a lot better, I think. Final Fantasy X, it's quite interesting how I got this, and the differences it has to the Final Fantasy X2 case. When I got Final Fantasy X, I got it at a boot fair for... One pound, I think. I think I got it for one pound at Boot Fair. Um, and it was really good, and my memory's running out, so just one sec. Okay, we're back. So anyway, yeah, it was a bit of an interesting um, way on how I actually got obtained this. So yeah, as I said, yeah, it was in a Boot Fair. And that's, and um, yeah. I played this game, and... I decided from I like it because it told me that 3D RPGs just ain't my thing. I like I love to the hell out of 2D and 2.5D RPGs, but 3D RPGs, especially older ones, they just don't interest me at all. I may get the PS3 version of this, but if I don't like it, then I'll know for truth that I don't like 3D RPGs because I didn't really like Tro Twilight Princess. Which was an RPG. Some may say it's a JRPG, but I don't know. Um, but that was an RPG, and then also Skyward Sword was, and I haven't actually had the time to really go back to that. So I'm just sorting out some stuff. I 
Um, Final Fantasy X2, I also got for £1 from the same people. And, um, it's actually, I haven't played this yet. But, I think I'm going to go over the differences between this, this, and this. Because there are a lot of them. So, firstly, post-2003 and post-before the age rating, the PlayStation logo, um, was bigger. But before, it was smaller. Before the age rating, it had Sony Computer Entertainment still. Afterwards, it said PS2 certified. Bef after the ratings, it had the Peggy rating symbol instead. Before the ratings, it had the uh, Elspa. And also, finally, before the ratings changed, or just about the same year, it, uh, Squaresoft was still called Squaresoft. But when this was released, they were changed to Square Enix because of their uh, because of their climate. So that's that. This would have originally said Squaresoft as well, I believe, because Kingdom Hearts came out in um, 19, no, not 19, um, 2002. So that would have said Squaresoft as well, but because this is platinum, they probably changed it. But anyway, yeah, so this is Kingdom Hearts. I got this in CEX last year, and I played it last year, but I never really got around to talking about it that much, so that's why I decided to talk. Right now, I don't really like this game that much. Um, I probably will later on, but you have to do all these labor this laborious crap like going around trying to find stuff to build a boat. Personally, I don't think that's very fun at all. Oni, another game I got at the boot fair. It I haven't played this yet, and I don't think I will because it looks a bit dated, kind of like Max Payne. Um, but maybe I'll give it a go one day. Rayman, 10th anniversary. I have only played um, uh, Rayman 2 here, oh, which is Rayman Revolution. But I just don't really like that game. It made me really dizzy. But um, there's other Rayman games I've played that are a lot better. Like, um, like for example, um, Rayman, um, what was it called? Rayman Legends, yeah, that that's a game. Uh, that's a game that's gonna be in my top ten best uh, video games I played in 2015. Although I don't own it, uh, so yeah, that's Rayman Legends. I got that for CEX as well. And finally, Shadow the Hedgehog. I got this actually in my top ten five worst games I played in 2014. The reason I put it on there was because it was a game that I just wanted to vent about and talk about its stupidity and I succeeded in doing that really. Um, but I actually got this on New Year's Day in Leamington Spa um, and I thought it was going to be awesome. The guy at the shelf said it would be it's a good decision um, but he was obviously talking about the Xbox edition he didn't know how crap the PS2 one was. Both editions, Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog, both have major lag problems on PlayStation 2. Do not get Shadow the Hedgehog or Sonic Heroes for PlayStation 2. But I recommend, if you want to have a Sonic game on PlayStation 2, get Sonic Riders, because that is a good game for PlayStation 2. So there is the PlayStation 2 games. I actually got the PS Vita system this year. But I don't think I'll be including this in the pickups. But I will be talking about the games I got for it this year. Which are very good. Now, only one of my games actually comes and is a Euro European release. The others, I think, are uh, European and American releases. No, I think they're both American releases, actually. Um, so this is Freedom Wars. This is one of the best games I've played on a portable system. It's really good. It's action and it's story and it's story are really engaging. Although um, I am having lots of trouble completing the boss, but I will get there one day and I've kind of given up but although I've kind of given up on it at the moment. Uh, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Fantastic game. Best fighting game I've played so far. 
uh, in the year on a modern console. Uh, so Tekken 6, yeah, that Tekken 6 was good, but it wasn't a Tekken game. It was kind of just too more like adventure related. But this was a really good, uh, a really good game because it has some great characters, hard gameplay, good controls, and awesome combos, which are the best things about fighting him. I haven't played this yet, just got it for Christmas the other day. Street Fire X Tekken. I've been wanting this for a while and it actually looks pretty awesome. That's PS Vita games. Next, we're on to GameCube games. Firstly, we have Mario Power Tennis, which actually I didn't get. It was my brother who, paid, who got this. Uh, and it's my brother's game, technically. Uh, from what I've seen from my brother playing it, this is actually a really awesome game. I got it from Retro Plushy Games at... Um, what, what was it called? Oh, I've forgotten the name now. It's been so long. Um, Play Margate. It's actually really good. And the characters are nice. I think the graphics are very good for their time. And I think overall this is a bit of an underrated game. And more people can play it. Need for Speed Underground. Another great game. Not as good as its uh, successor. But I really enjoyed it. It was a big blast. I really like the story as well. I like some of the cars and the designs and the tracks. And I just like overall the feel of the game. This is the best fighting game I've played of the year. Yeah. the best. This is the best fighting game I've played in the year. But if you're going to say, Oh, James, you just said the PlayStation was the best fighting game you've played of the year. Well, no, that's the best fighting game of the year I've played on a modern console. This is the actual best fighting game I've played of the year. Got it from Retro Plushy Games as well. This is the version that has Link in it. So this is the superior version of Soul Calibur 2. There's absolutely stunning visuals, which would, I think would even that uh, early Xbox 360 games couldn't even do. It has some great characters, great stages, hard gameplay, an awesome boss, and overall, it's just a really, really fun game to play. For Wii U, it's not only games but amiibos too. Let's go for the newest amiibo I've got, the Sonic amiibo. I got this the other day for Christmas. As well, I haven't opened it yet, but it looks really good. Only problem is, Sonic isn't a very good character in Smash Bros. I don't really like, I think he just... For Smash Bros, he's not a good character, because I think he just full, flies off the map too much, because of his spin, um, his spin dash, so... But it's pretty, it's an awesome amiibo, and I think I'll use it for Mario Maker. Uh, this Yoshi, this is uh, the Mario Party. Anyway, welcome back. Anyway, as I was saying, yes, this is the Mario Party 10 edition. Uh, it's better, I think it's kind of slightly better than the Smash Bros. edition. It's bigger, but it's, I think it's kind of a bit less detailed. But I prefer this bit at the bottom. And I like the style of red at the bottom. Last of me, what I've got of the year was um, the 30th edition one that came with Super Mario Maker. Um, I really like this book. This is the best one I think I've got all year. Um, it feels really nice despite being kind of sharp, I'd say. Um, but it's designed really well and finally you get to see Mario from this way on in 8-bit. Also as well, just for, um, just for laughs. Or I got the Mario art book. The only problem with it is half of it is just filled up with bloody foreign, which is ridiculous. Um, so you got that as well. Now let's actually get onto some games. We got Bayonetta 2, which is the sequel to Bayonetta 1. Nowhere near as good as Bayonetta 1, but still brilliant and genius. I love the gameplay and I love some of the new weapons. It's just not as good as the original. The story isn't as good. And, um, I hate the fact that you have to actually now, now you actually have to explore to get verses. And if you miss, like, one or more verses, then you get a stun. Next game I got was Super Mario 3D World for my birthday. 
This is a fantastic cover and it's way better than Super Mario 3D Land. This is the true Super Mario 3D game. It has great items, fantastic and unique stages, some of the best graphics I think I've seen in a video game. Well, not the most realistic graphics, but the some of the prettiest graphics. And it shows that the Wii U is just overall an absolutely massive powerhouse. Final game, Super Mario Maker. Now this would be going. This would go under Super Mario 3D Land because I like to put my games in alphabetical order. But I don't. I put it all the way at the bottom because it's yellow and I don't think it really goes in very well unless there are other yellow Wii games. I like the cover and uh, let's talk about Mario Maker itself. It's a really interesting game. Oh, uh, but the only problem is too much stuff is restricted. To you, and it's kind of like one of them freemium games where you have to come back every day to get new crap. Luckily, it's not as bad as freemium games, and you're actually going for something good apart from coins and playing longer and getting more stuff. But I think you could probably be getting a bit more when you, especially when you start off. That's the Wii U collection. Now we've only got two collections to go, so have no fear. Um, let's talk about my Xbox collection. So we got Marvel vs. Capcom 2, released for the original Xbox in 2003, one year after it was released for PlayStation 2 in 2002. I like the cover better than the PlayStation 2 edition, I think it looks a bit more sleek. Although the back of the box is inexcusable, it doesn't ever look very good does it? Just a few like captains. Um, the game also and some of its graphics are pretty lazy as well. It was released in 2000 but I'm not really going to give that... Um, that much stuff. If you want to hear more about this game, and it's still a great game though, if you want to hear more about it, please watch my review. Next is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is one of my most disappointing games of the year. Um, this actually looked really good. I heard it was fantastic, but I just don't like, um, I can't remember what they were called. I don't really like strategy games where the game it fights for you. I want to be fighting and using my own abilities. I don't want to be constantly pressing stuff. Um, I do like the story though, but overall I just don't like the gameplay of it. It's just pretty crap. I don't like it. Because, yeah, so far I can't I have to do other stuff, so... What's that? Obi-Wan! A lot different. Um, I have played this game. Oh, no, actually I don't think I have. But I have seen gameplay of it, and as you'd know that if you'd watched my top 10, if you'd been very sneaky and uh, watched my top 10 video game startups, um, you just would have seen some footage, and you actually can do your own moves. Thank God. Um, although I think it takes a bit more, it takes, it's basically the video game of the Phantom Menace. Um, which I think is a pretty good, cool idea. It depends though, I just haven't played it, got time to play it. Next game is Knight's Journey of Dreams. This is a good game, although I absolutely despise the controls for it. Using the nunchuck, you can barely get up and barely get down. But the story is pretty good, aside from the controls, this is quite a solid game. Sonic Colors, also a great game, it's just the controls I don't really like, the controls I think they're a bit too sensitive, um, but overall, yeah, good. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, the last game we'll be looking at today, I got stuck on it, and I'll have to start again, because I died over the thingy, because that stupid bird thing, I was trying to buy something, it didn't even give me an option to pay, and then he was like coming after me, and I couldn't move, so I couldn't do anything about it, and I was really annoyed about it, and it was disappointing, and then I got stuck, because I couldn't get over, because I didn't have a opponent, and I just didn't really like the story either, um, this is a bit of a mediocre game, I don't really like it that much, so that is what I've done today that's my pickups for the year next year there'll only be one episode of pickups as with every other year because i will be 
talk just talking about games at the end of the year, which I prefer to do. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys, and peace to hell out. Have if you have anything left of your Christmas, enjoy it and have a happy new year. Uh, my next video will be coming out on the 1st of January. And then I'll be getting back to making daily content after that. So anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and peace. The hell out.